Everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. There, Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Well, glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. Ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Deal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Certo. Pode entrar. Bilhete, por favor. Doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are hysterical agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Você viu esse homem? Chame a segurança imediatamente, seu filho. Great. They've set Segurança! up a checkpoint. Segurança! Stick close to the crowd and you should be okay. There's got to be a way to slip past Side room, maybe? Hallway? Something? Alguém chama segurança! Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone, if you do. Eu não posso... Ele... Ele sumiu. Mas ele não poderia ter ido longe. Eu vi ele faz pouco tempo. Looks like I'm close. Shh. Watch your back, they're on you. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too Não me deixar entrar, vou fazer um prédio. Temos que ver esse cara de identidade. Como assim? Trabalhei aqui há 15 anos e nunca vi nada como isso. Quem vocês pensam que são? 
Sugiro abaixar o tom de voz. Ah, está bem. Faça a porcaria da verificação. Que bando de merdinha. Passam 20 minutos simulando sexo anal e fatura milhões. Ou quebrou as costas trabalhando 80 horas por semana para tirar 100 pratos. Não, não adianta. Agora tenho que ficar aqui para ser insultado por um brutamonte de tempo. Olha, aconteceu só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. Só aconteceu. Sinto muito. Sente muito? Ela é minha irmã, cara. A porra da minha irmãzinha. Almost there, Desmond. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side?
We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. 